Hello, in this session we will talk about what is materialized view. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. A materialized view is defined as a database object that contains the results of a query. If you want to gain performance advantage, then creating a view is not going to give you that. You might want to create a materialized view. So what is a materialized view in comparison with a view? So if you create a materialized view, then the database management system will actually store the resultant data in a table-like structure called materialized view. It is not simply a window on the base table, it is actually a separate object holding data in itself, just like table. The sample command you would use in Oracle to create a materialized view. Now, obviously, since this is an object holding data, it is not a window anymore on the base table, so now we have a refresh in the picture. A refresh has to take place periodically that will reflect the changes in the base table into this materialized view. And you define the refresh rate in the create materialized view command that you use to create the materialized view. So the bottom line is that there is a lag now in the refresh. In case of a view, whenever you make any changes to the base table, it would be reflected immediately in the view. If you delete a record from base table, it will be removed from the view immediately. If you update a value in the base table, it will be reflected immediately as updated in the view. But in case of materialized view, there is a lag, and the lag is dependent on the refresh rate you have selected. So in case of a materialized view, you can do the same query that we did in case of the view. Now we are doing this query on the materialized view, but now there is a difference. The difference is that when you do this query on the materialized view, the underlying query is not run by the database management system. The underlying query is only run once when the materialized view was created, and it will be run when it will be refreshed, but not every time when you query the materialized view. So this results into tremendous performance advantage. and indexes on the base table are obviously not being used when you're hitting the materialized view and uh, you can however create indexes on the materialized view itself because it's now like a table it's, to it's, it's a structure holding data so if you need a, f a performance gain further you can consider creating indexes on relevant columns within the materialized view so the purposes for materialized view would remain almost the same that you saw in case of a view but I'm using the term here copy of a table rather than synonym of a table because a table is holding data you might want to create a view holding the same data as in the table for some reason and that way data in a table will be copied over to the materialized view and uh, any changes in the base table would be reflected periodically in the materialized view other than that you can create a materialized view to reflect summarization of the detailed data in the base table or to create a subset of a subset window on the base table. The window is not a right term here because now it is holding a separate copy. So if the base table has 20 columns, materialized view can reflect 10 of those columns and maybe a filtered data in terms of rows as well. And materialized view can hold joins of multiple tables. This is where the real performance advantage comes in because if you create a view which is a join of multiple tables the performance could be very slow and you might be forced into creating a materialized view uh, to fix the performance issues so here is a quick comparison between a view and a materialized view a view basically gives you up-to-date data so this is the biggest advantage of a view but gives you a slower performance for the reason I already explained because every time you call a view the underlying SQL is executed all the time so if you are joining multiple tables in a view then every time the join statement will be called and it will slow down the performance in case of materialized view the, the data is not so much up to date because there's a lag and you can control the refresh rate however the performance is much much faster Keep in mind that materialized views could be created on tables which are residing outside the database in a different database. So in that scenario, a materialized view would, would be called a snapshot. And materialized view that is reflecting a data 
in a table which is within the same database it, it will simply be called the materialized view so snapshot is a term that is used specifically to reflect this scenario where materialized view is created on a table which is in a different database the feature of materialized view is available in all top databases including Oracle Sybase IBM DB2 and Microsoft SQL Server Oracle added this feature in release 8i and uh, the terms are sometimes used differently in DB2 it's called uh, materialized query table in Microsoft SQL Server it is called indexed views MySQL and uh, PostgreSQL they do not offer materialized view feature natively however we can create materialized view ourselves by using triggers and the programming language so we can create another table and we can write triggers and we can tell trigger update this table automatically whenever the base table is updated so that way we can end up creating our materialized views 